everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to take you through the Carolina Herrera Good Girl range of perfumes. Um, there have been different limited editions of these, but I'm just going to go through the ones that are available to buy now. And as always, they'll be linked down below if you want to go check them out. If you're new here, then welcome to my little perfume review world on the internet. I'm publishing new videos every week of different ranges and different um, walkthroughs of different perfume brands so do subscribe if you like this video. So Good Girl Eau de Parfum came out in 2016 and the Eau de Toilette is yet to come out so we just have the Eau de Parfum and this is a very like sensual sexy evening fragrance in my opinion. The main note that you get is tonka bean mixed with a bit of um, cocoa like uh, like cocoa bean almost um, but it really is very warm very tonka beans and then in the dry down you start getting more of the white florals that are in here so the tuberose and the jasmine come through and they last throughout the life of the fragrance but then after a while you also start getting those sweet vanilla and almond notes so tonka bean almond vanilla these are all like very sexy evening fragrances and then mixed with those white florals of jasmine it makes it a very feminine but very um sort of mysterious and womanly fragrance so this is not one for the faint-hearted but it's definitely good for date night, you know, for going out. I'm not sure about wearing this to the office. I'm not sure how appropriate it would be. So in 2018, we then got Good Girl Legere, um, which basically is a lighter version, but with a different mix of the fragrant notes. So for a start off, yes, it's lighter, and yes, it'll probably last a bit less. You're probably gonna get three to four hours out of Good Girl. On this one, you might get two. The Tonka Bean is very much still part of the, the fragrance, like throughout its life but you have a more like sweeter almost like milky tone that comes through like a caramel milky tone there's praline in here and a little bit of cinnamon so it's kind of a bit more like a bakery shop version of the original it's lighter sweeter perhaps this would be good for during the day and then the original good girl at night or you could even layer them and mix them but this is just a little bit lighter like a little bit less heady but sweeter so it comes across as a bit more innocent we then have Velvet Fatale, which is a limited edition, but I've included it because you can still get it, and I've left the links down below, but I'm sure it will disappear in the next year or two. Um, it comes in a cool like red velvet um, version of the shoe bottle, and this is of a very similar vein to the original, except I feel like they've hyped up the uh, praline like chocolatiness of this, and there's almost a bit of like coffee that comes through. The patchouli which is in the original but you can't really smell it really comes through much better in this one whereas those white jasmine-y fragrances like the fragrance notes are not coming through as much so this is more like patchouli chocolate whereas the original is like jasmine tonka bean so the accompanying products that go with this range are actually really quite good. So there's a hair mist, which I'm always like recommend. I think spraying perfume into your hair is a really good way to get longevity out of a perfume, out of the fragrance, because um, unlike your skin, you're not going to sweat it out during the day. Um, there's also like body cream and a cool like uh, legs. Um, oil so very much aimed at like going out you know you've got your legs out you put like this nice oil on them which is going to make them look nice and it also has the smell in it so if you were to layer all of those plus the perfume then you really would be smelling of of good girl so let me know if you wear any of these or what you think of the three ones that are available right now um, I'd love to know what you guys think and let me know if you have any more requests for reviews um, because I'm always read all your comments and do take all your requests on board but that's it so thanks so much for watching don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you found it helpful or you liked it and I'll see you again soon bye